We start by depicting this information on the Cartesian plane. The given circle has a center at 0, 3. Let's denote this circle by C1. The radius is given to be equal to 2. Let's denote the center by O1. The coordinates are 0, 3. Now the desired circle is tangential to this circle. It touches the x-axis. Let's assume that the center of the circle is O2 and its coordinates are hk. Now since this circle touches the x-axis, therefore the radius is equal to the ordinate of the center, which is equal to k. Let's also denote this desired circle by C2. Let's assume that the point where the two circles C1 and C2 touch each other is P. And also, since these two circles touch each other, therefore, the distance between the centers of these two circles, O1, O2, is equal to the radius of C1 plus the radius of C2. Now, the distance between O1 and O2, which is the distance between points 0, 3 and HK, is equal to root of H minus 0 square plus K minus 3 square. And on the right hand side, the radius of C1 is equal to 2 and the radius of C2 is equal to K. Taking the square of both sides, we get H square plus K minus 3 square is equal to K plus 2 square. This implies that H square plus K square minus 6K plus 9 is equal to k square plus 4k plus 4. k square cancels on both sides. And this can be written as h square is equal to 10k minus 5. Therefore, the locus of the center of the desired circle is obtained by replacing h with x and k with y, which is x square is equal to 10y minus 5, which is a parabola. And this is the required answer.